Huna Igna Chawaneha. But it's not Rick! Where the fuck is everyone? It's like, I, I invited Connor and he actually responded. And he's not here. The fuck, Connor. The fuck. Oh well. Guess I'll read a little bit while I wait for everyone. <sighs> Ragtime, a novel by E. L. Doctorow. Chapter Chapter 26. The funeral was made in Harlem. It was lavish. Sarah's coffin was bronze. The hearse was a custom Pierce Arrow opera church or opera coach with an elongated passenger compartment and a driver's cab open to the weather. The top was railed with brass and banked with masses of flowers. Black ribbon flew from the four corners of the roof. The car was so tightly polished the boy could see in its rear doors a reflection of the entire street. Everything was black including the sky. The street curved to a precipitous horizon. There were several town cars for carrying the mourners to the cemetery. The mourners were mostly musicians associated with associates of Cole House and the Clef Club Orchestra. They were Negro men with closely cropped hair, tightly buttoned dark suits, round collars, and black ties. The women with them wore dresses that brushed the tops of their shoes, wide-brimmed hats, and small furs around their shoulders. When the mourners were in the cars and the doors were shut and the chauffeurs had gotten behind their wheels, everyone heard a fanfare and there came up the street to take its place in the procession, an open omnibus with a five-piece brass band and tuxedos. Cole House Walker paid for the funeral with the money he had saved for his wedding. He had secured a plot for Sarah through his membership in the Negro Musicians Benevolent Association. The cemetery was in Brooklyn. The band played dirges through the quiet streets of Harlem and all the way downtown. The cortege moved slowly. Children ran behind it and people on the sidewalk stopped to stare. The band played as the cars slowly crossed the Brooklyn Bridge high over the East River. Passengers on the trolley cars along the outer lanes of the bridge stood up in their seats to see the grand parade. The sun shone. Goals rose from the water. They flew between the suspension cables and settled along the railing as the last of the cars went by. That, that, that was a short chapter. Oh well. Fuck that. And here it is. Banjo-Kazooie 3. Go hook! I can't see shit. All I see what I see is fucking shadow. Yeah, me! Yeah, first place one up on the the shit just happened? Dude, the, the emulator just closed for no reason. What the hell? I gotta take a piss, and I gotta go to the store. So, I'm gonna put on a movie while I'm gone. I'll be back in like 10 minutes, you guys. Who's talking about it's daylight time? Alright, how long was I gone? 12 minutes. Whew. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Now let's play some fucking video games here, folks. Snake Man. Ugh. Metal Gear. Candy Mountain Charlie. Sorry if I suck for the first few minutes. My glasses are getting foggy because I have to run to the store. Yeah, hard snake man. I don't even know when. It's one of those ladybug things from Super Mario Bros. 2. AKA Doki Doki Panic. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 2 is a slave game. Oh look, bullet bills. Took me 22 years to come up with that. Yeah, that's right. I jumped through the boss doors. No big deal, really. 
Boom! Okay, here we go. This is why I went to the store. Without my caffeine, these streams tend to be boring as fuck. Now, now, why, why is there Gemini Man but no Aries Man? I find that offensive. Yeah, I, I have a search thing too. And it searches for women. Ah shit, here comes Proto Man. And he's doing nothing. Great cutscene, thanks. Dude! Beat him with one hit point left. Amazing. Gemini laser. Fuck that. It's the Ares laser, bitch. Alright, about to fight Sonic the Hedgehog here. And there he is. Maximum autism. Ah, damn it. Oh, I switched to the Gemini laser. Fuck. Kaboom. Oh shit. It's Proto Man, folks. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me in that ass shit. I beheld Satan as he fell from heaven like lightning! Oh shit, bees. I don't know if the enemy is a bloody blue fan. Run into a rack in here. That monkey just fell down and killed himself. Oh yeah, folks. If you're seriously a super fighting robot and you fucking need weapons, go to www.robotmasters.com. If you have 60 screws, you can get yourself the best weapons a robot can ever own for itself. Go team adventure! <laughs> idea for Top Man was on weed. And not, and not even good weed, it was on like really nasty 420 day old weed. Yeah, I don't know what cats puking yarn balls has to do with spinning tops, but whatever. This is the hidden ninja gaiden stage where I fight for you, Hayabusa. This sounds like my long box. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, here it is. The, the only time in the entire game where the top spin comes in useful. Did you see that? Where you got owned by ballerina. Or ballet. Yeah, we well got owned by ballet, that's what I'm gonna say. And if, if I don't get an answer in like five seconds, I'm just gonna go for a So, five, four, three, two, one. What's this? Football! Yeah! Ad. Get the fuck down! Fucking 
capsule because then I might have given half a fuck <laughs> from Splatterhouse blew that bubble. After we received the last element, why we ran off with Gamma? E102 Gamma. Hey guys. <laughs> Disappearing blocks. Not for me, news. <laughs> Fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Dr. Wily. Oh no, too late. He's he was crushed under that block, you proto piece of shit. Mega Man, you've regained consciousness. I found you lying here when I arrived. I wonder who brought you here. It's Whistle. It must have been Proto Man. Strong Man. Oh shit, Dr. Wily's still alive. Look, look, his his ship. His his shit. His ship is right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's still alive. Oh my god. Holy shit, these are the fastest credits I've ever seen. It's like I beat Chrono Trigger in less than half an hour. 